it's official. Biden has nominated Judge Ketinja, Ketanji Brown Jackson to the top court, to the Supreme Court. And my reaction to this uh, first is that she is not Michelle Childs, who was the consensus nominee. So Biden has bucked away from that. I think he has bucked, uh, bucked under pressure from progressives to nominate someone else than Childs. Uh, and now he has picked Jackson, who I believe is, I believe she was the front runner earlier on as well. But let's talk a little bit about this nomination. I don't think that she has a lot of controversial opinions uh, in the past. What I can say is that she was confirmed with three Republican votes only last year to uh, the Federal Appeals Court, where she is currently. And that was, of course, Lindsey Graham, Susan Collins, and Lisa Murkowski. Now, Graham has already criticized this appointment. Of course, he supported Michelle Childs, who was probably the more moderate option as well. And that has led me to believe that she will get maximum 52 votes in the Senate because I find it now very unlikely that any other Republicans than Collins or Murkowski will bother voting for her, and maybe not... Maybe maybe they won't either, because Murkowski has a tough re-election fight against a Trump-backed primary opponent, and then Collins is not running for re-election, so, so she doesn't even need to appeal to this uh, moderate wing. I mean, she most certainly ran for her last term, even though she hasn't announced retirement because her terms end. Her term ends in 2027. So why? So why would she? And then you have Joe Manchin, who is also going to run for re-election probably in 2024. It's a while, and he does need a lot of Republican support, but I don't think he would oppose it. No. But I don't think he would oppose this nomination, so it's probably going to pass. But, I mean, she is not that bad. Yeah, she is probably a typical liberal who will side with the liberal side almost completely. Uh, but when it comes to the changing balance of the court, I actually think yeah, it doesn't change a lot. It's pretty much the same. Uh, the only issue is that now, well, she is young, so that could be trouble. And since the Senate is sort of still controlled by the Democrats, it means that we have to accept a nominee who is probably going to maintain the balance of the court instead of uh, shifting it to the right. But what, do you, what would you expect with a trifecta in the Democratic Party in Washington. And yeah, she went to Harvard, she has two degrees from there, the DC Circuit Court of Appeals. I think that still my biggest beef with this is that uh, black people are about one ninth of the population and now they are going to have two out of the nine Supreme Court justices. And of course, Clarence Thomas could represent me instead because he, well, he is said not to, be re to represent black people. But I think, uh, I don't think that this is a way to make it look like the nation. The court does not look like the nation more after this. Yes, there is another wo woman on the court, and I guess they are a bit more than men, so five women and, wo and four men would be the most... Uh, accurate if it was meant to just look like the nation but yeah it will be exciting to see if any republicans support it uh, let's wait and see but anyway thank you all so much for watching and i will see you next time